Hey guys, Ashley here. Today we are going to be doing my July monthly spread and I'm gonna use the Summer Fun and this Summer Sticker Book to create it. And I'm also going to be using these um, guides, I think is what they're called. And I'm really excited for these. Quick tip though, if you feel, if you have the guides and you feel them, one side is like real slick. And then one side is kind of, it feels like it's got a little bit of texture to it. Use the textured side not the other side, because if you use the slick side, your stickers are not gonna come up very well. But if you use that textured side, they'll come up a lot easier. Also don't fully stick them down, especially the clear ones, cause they will stick to it. And it's, um, you can get them back off. It just takes just a second, but I'm really actually loving these guides and I'm really glad I got them. So we are going to do July monthly. So here it is. What I'm actually gonna do this time is stick these in there and plan it that way. Because I've noticed when I take the sheets out and I lay them down, things, they start to move or whatever it does, the guide like will move off the page and then I'm always trying to line it back up. So I thought maybe this would just be an easier way to use the guides, we'll see how it goes. And um, I honestly, I don't, this is strange for me to be planning in the monthly right now because I, for the last three years, I've been in school and I've always had stuff to do for school or whatever. And now we ain't got much going on. So um, this is mainly me gonna be decorating it and then I'll just have to add in plans as they pop up or whatever. So let's go ahead and get started. I seen a, right here, this right here, it says summer bucket list. I haven't created a summer bucket list yet, but I'm gonna create a full sheet for my bucket list and then I'm gonna take the top five things off of that list that I wanna do and we're gonna put it here in the monthly so I can see it. So we'll just kind of put that there. I know that 4th of July weekend, my parents are going to go tubing and kayaking and I really wanna go with them and they're going camping so I thought about using this camper sticker. I wonder if they have, I was trying to see if maybe they had like um, a small boat or something. I could use these floaties to mimic like a tube maybe. Ooh, I love this sticker. It says, hello, summer. You may use that one right here. Now I am looking to see what kind of like decorative stickers I have. I love these ones. I thought about putting some of those in there, but I think I'll save these for my bucket list. Huh, this little sun is cute. We're just gonna stick it right there for a minute. So I have this striped washi and I think I wanna use it for the weekend where they are going um, tubing and stuff. Well, maybe if I can get this off of there. starting on Friday. I 
and they're coming back on Monday. I'm not actually gonna go stay the whole weekend with them, but they are going to West Virginia and I thought about driving down one of these days. So I kind of like to know which days they're gonna be there so I know I can kind of plan for that. So I think that's cute. This I think would be super cute because technically they are in West Virginia, which is the mountains. So that actually works out great. And then maybe do this like adventure sticker up here with it. And then let's do a box too. And then in the box, I'll write out the happenings. What's going on? I was looking for a blue, a blue box, a smaller blue box. And I think I'm gonna get my boxes out. The colorful boxes one and I'm kind of walking you guys through my thought process too I need to be better at doing that so you guys can understand why I'm doing what I'm doing okay I think that'll be good so then we can layer this when I put this down, I am going to put this over the washi, but for now, so I can get that washi up, I'm just going to stick this here. And then we will put this like right there on it. Oh, that looks so cute. Okay, cool. They are also still here these days. I think I'm just going to leave it leave it the way it is but then again I kind of want to put it maybe on Sunday okay so here's my deal with that if I go down um, to go tubing and kayaking I won't be taking Levi because the water down there is just too rough for him um, so he's not ready for that just yet but I do want to take him down because there is a calmer part there behind their campsite where they can he can swim. And so maybe Sunday I will do that. Maybe me and him will run down and let him swim for the day. So I'm trying to find the stickers to kind of note that. I know a lot of this is me just flipping through stickers, but again, I'm trying to share my thought process with you guys. So I think I wanna do this little map one cause it's kind of cute. We could do like a map and then a box with that one. And let's do a like a green one. Okay, that one's not coming out of there. Something like that. Okay, I think that's cute. Okay, so I also know that my husband is off work these days and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use the washi to note that. So we're just gonna put that there. Whoa. Okay, we can fix that later. Um, through Sunday. And that is crooked. I need to clean my stickers, you guys. Or my scissors. They're starting to get gunked up again. Now my thought process is how can I get a longer sticker to put across here to note that he's off work. One that is um, 
longer, but where I can write in it. And I don't think there's any in these books, so I may have to pull out a different book for that. And I know exactly which one will have it in there. Okay, so the nurse sticker books have some long ones that you can write in. See like that? That one's kind of big though, but maybe it'll work. So does the super mom ones. And the colors actually would match this really well. But I really like this yellow one, so I may actually go back to it here in just a second. Because it's nice and bright. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. So I'm gonna set it above the washi. And then once I put the washi on the actual page, I'll put it over top and we'll layer it. Okay, so now I am just gonna do some more decorative elements because that's really all that I know of what's going on in July. There's really not much else happening as of right now. So we will just decorate and have some fun with it. Where's that? I'm looking for the clear stickers in here. There they are. So I think these are super cute. And I kind of want to do like a little something down here. So that, this little beach ball. I kind of layer those. I like the squirt gun too. I think this is cute. And we'll layer that too. Where am I gonna put the sun at, you guys? Okay, so here's a, a good example. The clear sticker got stuck down, and so you just have to kind of get it peeled up. It will come up. It just might take you a second to get it off there. Maybe if I... Pull this one down. Well, I can't pull that down too far because I want to cover up that spot there that says no in pink. So we'll pull this down as far as I can, which is about there. And then we could layer that with it. So we'll just stick that off the page a little bit. No. Um, okay, what else we got? Oh, it would be cute to do like this little barbecue thing down here, maybe. I am currently looking for some more like barbecue-y kind of stickers. So I like this one. This one says summer is for fun. And I think I will do that one here with that one layered. Okay, so let's go ahead with what I have and we'll add it to the pages. And to do that, I will take them out. First, we'll start with the washi. Okay, so you can see where it says Independence Day right here. And I am gonna cover that up. Don't ever feel bad if you don't want to create a spread based off of a holiday that's happening. You don't absolutely have to. That's not like requirement. Like I wanted a fun summery spread and that's what I'm creating. Doesn't mean that I'm not patriotic. Doesn't mean that I don't love 4th of July. I just wanted a fun summer spread. Ah. 
my husband and my son are outside and they're right outside the doors or the window so you guys might be able to hear them. There we go. A little too short but that's okay. And then we'll do this sticker above it. We'll just kind of layer that. And then our little collection down here. Layered stickers. Okay, so that's that side. And then let's go ahead and we'll do the other side. We'll start with this big cute sticker. Okay, so see, there's the paper when it's stuck down, which is not on this end, but if it does just get stuck, you can kind of bend these and then get it to pop right up off there. But again, make sure you're using the textured side of these. So we're gonna try to get this right as close to the top of this as I can, so that way the sun has more, has more room. It's hard to talk and lay down stickers at the same time. Cole, which I can layer this too, because I want as much of him on there as I can. I guess it's a he, I don't know. Might be a she son, huh? Oh, that's cute. Okay, and then we will do this washi here for the fifth and sixth. I think we're gonna do Sunday if I take him down. He wants to go, so kind of have that mostly over Sunday. And then this one for the last day that my husband's off. And we'll do our little barbecue situation down here. And yes, I will clean my scissors after we get done. <laughs> I know I've watched Clean With Me videos before and I'm like, oh, I hope she cleans her scissors afterwards or I hope he cleans his scissors. I don't know, it's just a weird thing that I do. Okay, so quick tip for you guys for the clear sticker. So um, I'm sure you guys have seen this whenever you look at the sticker, you can kind of see, it's not necessarily bubbly, but it's bubbly. Does that make sense? There's like little specks. I like to just take a gift card or you can use a disc, anything that you want and just kind of go over it and that takes those out of there to where you can't see them. It's not that big of a deal if you don't want to do this. You do not have to. I just like to do it. Just personal preference here. I'm trying to be more conscious about sharing all of the details with you guys, every little thing that I do. And this is one of them. Okay, so then last but certainly not least, what I am going to do is grab these sticky notes. I'm just gonna grab one of them real quick. And I'm just gonna stick it on here. No, doesn't matter what day because what I am doing is I'm gonna write down that I use the 
summer fun. The summer, whoops, if I could spell. The nurse and colorful boxes. Now I'm writing that down because as things come up and I wanna plan, oh, and washi, which obviously, but as things come up and as I wanna plan and I need, like let's say I need another box sticker or if I want another long one like this, where did I get that from? Yes, I know because it does have the little crosses on here and that makes me think of the nurse sticker book, but just to be safe, I like to do this. Sometimes I do this on my regular spreads too. That way as I'm planning or whatever, I have um, just kind of taking note of the stickers that I use, that way I can go back to them as I add things in. So that's why I do that. So that's my spread guys. As the month goes, if we have any other plans that come up, I will add more stickers to it or whatever. But for now, this is the spread. So if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Come hang out with me on Instagram, as I say in every single video. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.